Jack. Yes. Uh, I'm an acute observer of airplanes, air traffic, airports, all of it. I just think okay. it's one of the great, beautiful things of civilization that we can fly. And I, I bet if you've ever seen a 747 take off, you're thinking to yourself, I have. How, oh my gosh. This thing oh, flies. God, yes. Right. This 300 ton yeah. hunk of aluminum or however much it weighs. Right. It flies. The thing flies. And it looks like it's in slow yeah. motion when it's flying. That's even more. It does. Stunning. Amazing. Right? Amazing. Yeah. I just wanted to update you on some things that have happened slowly that you might not have noticed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So airplanes today, when they leave the runway, typically take off at a steeper angle into the air than they once did many decades ago. What that does is reduce the acoustic footprint of the airport so that the sound is not disrupting whatever's going on on the ground. So you can sell real estate closer to the airport without the airport badly influencing those real estate values. Ooh, so okay. that's one little thing that has changed over the years okay and people hardly are thinking about it but i'm putting it oh, out yeah. there okay the engines are more powerful to enable that not only that the engines are quieter than they ever mm. were when i grew up and i'm not that much older than you chuck you, this not would have overlapped much, some no. of your day if okay. a plane flew overhead, you had mm -hmm. to stop your conversation, let the plane continue flying, and then you continued your conversation. You could not speak over the sound of the engines if a plane was flying overhead. Now, are you sure you didn't grow up next door to an airport? Because <laughs> that could have been the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I distinctly remember this, okay? okay? I remember filming in the 1990s, in my early days of getting filmed for documentaries and television, we had to stop every time a plane was flying over because it made noise and it showed up in the microphone. Now, you barely well, know. we still do that today, though. They but still do that today. Barely is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a plane. You're not saying, you're not distracted by the sound of the plane. Well, no, sound guys are are kind of prima donnas. You know what I mean? They want they want their pristine sound, so they'll stop production. They'll stop production, even for even for that. I can't impress upon you how much quieter jet engines are relative to even just a few decades ago. Okay, did you know that in 1969, okay. when the Mets were in the World Series, Mayor Lindsay redirected. Uh -huh traffic from LaGuardia to not fly over the stadium because when planes flew over the stadium, everything stopped. The announcers wow. couldn't speak. I remember okay. this. That's how old I am. Okay. I'm just saying that is that's pretty damn loud. Now that anytime a roaring a stadium full of roaring people can be drowned out by a plane. Correct. LaGuardia is very, and very the announcers close cannot to the, hear uh, each other to, under the Un, under right. the un, under the plane, so that's, that, that's an example. Of course, that's, the planes are that's, lower there that's than than over the city, but still, is my point. Okay, yeah. so yeah. that's other that's wild. That's other wild. little things you might not have noticed. Planes no longer taxi. Okay, in the old days, okay, you fly to your city. Oh, there's not a slot for you, and you just circle. Oh, yeah, taxi. yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize that they called that taxi. That, that's called taxi. You'd go in taxi. And yeah, so they you, put you in a holding pattern where you go pattern around the airport and around the land. airport till you had a place to land. Okay, no longer. Okay, you know why? Take off 10 minutes from now instead of now so that we can land you when you arrive at our city. That is how precise uh, the calculations are with wind speed, airplane speed, uh, uh, all of that. All of that. Mm -hmm. Now you might still line I, I, I up. I mean, un unless it's unless it's Spirit. Let's be honest. Oh, Spirit Airlines. If it's Spirit, <laughs> yeah, if it's Spirit Airlines, Airlines <laughs> yeah, they don't have it. They don't have that technology yet. <laughs> okay. Um, so that doesn't happen because computers calculate your your takeoff time and landing time and landing position. Yes, things can change, but I'm saying overall, 
No, yeah. We're not burning gas waiting to land in the way that once was a routine fact. Okay? That's a that's an advance, yeah. and it happens slowly, and we're there. That okay? I, I don't know who did that, but somebody got a really nice raise because you want to talk about saving probably upwards of like close to a billion dollars in fuel costs. Oh, no, it's, it's huge. Right? It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, it's okay. got it's insane. That's okay. amazing. So there's that. OK, and then uh, we talked about on a different explainer, those little upturn flaps upturn at the uh, end of the, the wings. end of the wings. OK, mm -hmm. that was an engineering, uh, an aerodynamic engineering advance discovered at NASA because the first A in NASA stands for what? I thought of oh oh aeronautics aeronautics yes. national aeronautics and space administration. So aeronautics is a piece of NASA funding congressionally mandated, and so they discovered this, and you save anywhere between five and fifteen percent fuel efficiency mm -hmm. from these extra Just by little cutting wings. That, cutting and that off that, that drag, and that, that's yeah, right. That's it changes the, the 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 drag on the wing tip and makes it more right. smooth and laminar, and then it could. So that's another advance. Here's another one. All right. Um. When was the last time you saw someone throw up on an airplane? Um, well, you know, every time I fly. <laughs> oh, you're um, the one. Okay. Oh, except for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the point. Here's the point. There was a day when it was the duty of the pilot to sort of do what they can as they fly it to maintain the stability. And you'd have turbulence right. and you'd have things like that. There are control surfaces on the airplane controlled by computers that yeah. make micro adjustments in the flaps that maintain a level of stability the likes of which planes have never seen before i know yeah yeah and so that's funny it's funny you say that because the last time i flew which was very very short time ago um i was sitting in the chair thinking god it is almost peaceful up here. This is it's my point. So... This is my point. Okay. And and yes, you might have had a nice little pocket of air you were trying through. But my point is, yeah. when they say, uh, we need everyone to return to the seats and buckle the seatbelt, we're going to go through some turbulence. And it's just a little bit of jiggly. Yeah, thing. exactly. You say, yeah. that wasn't nothing. That, you know. was that? Yeah. And, and so, you know, we've advanced when that's what they're warning you about. Okay. And so, right. so. Uh, plus, we have very good weather uh, mappings of uh, turbulent eddies in the atmosphere, and they know to avoid them, to go under them, around yeah, them. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. Okay, okay. So, we also have what is basically precision weather forecasting, right? Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, you'd look at the weather forecast, and all you want to know is, is, is it going to rain tomorrow? Uh, and they say, 50% chance of rain. That's all you, that's okay. And... By the way, if someone says there's a 50% chance of something happening in the weather, it means they don't know anything. Think about it. No. <laughs> <Okay>. no. <laughs> flip a right, coin. Yeah. I don't... Flip a coin. <laughs> I can flip go. a coin. I don't need to pay you right. to calculate that anything is a 50% chance of anything. Okay? That's so, pretty funny. Yeah. That's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but we can, on your app now, on your, smart, on your, on your uh, uh, smartphone, you can dial up the forecast and it'll say it'll continue raining for the next 25, 26 minutes, and then it'll stop. And sure enough, to the minute, it's accurate for where you're standing, all right? And so this is a triumph of weather forecasting that spills into the ability to guide airplanes where and when you need them to reduce the risk of encountering very bad weather. But that's not my favorite part of the, of this the airplanes my favorite part is okay okay and i might have said this in another because i don't this all just jumbles in my head here it is you ready go ahead um have you ridden modern roller coasters lately oh yeah go so ahead. modern roller coaster it's not you're you're not in a in a in a cart with with a, no, with you're, a thing you're this you're young, actually in in an open, open air type cockpit with just a harness over correct, top correct. of you and you're, that's you're basically it. dangling there okay dangling. and when the thing makes the turn your your gondola swings out swings to out bank yeah. that turn have you ever do you ever notice that okay oh yeah yeah okay. yeah 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 well what's going on there oh well at the speed you're going and the radius of curvature of that turn 
the free floating uh, gondola, whatever you want to call this thing you're in, mm -hmm. will swing out <sighs> to the precise angle where your effective gravity is still into your pants, into your seat. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, all right. No, I mean, so, okay. I, I, oh, 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 oh. This is I important. See. Okay. So I got you're you. tipped at an angle, but you don't right. feel the angle because the combination of gravity and centrifugal force is such that you, your up or down is still straight right. into your seat and up above your head. Right. Even if that's and at that an makes, angle. Okay. That's, that's true. On an airplane, they solve that equation. They solve wow. that equation on an airplane. So when the airplane banks a turn, it does it at the speed and the bank angle such that you don't even know you're turning because everything is just vertical to you. You can have a glass of wine sitting there and the level of the liquid is perfectly horizontal to you and to the sides of the glass. Yet you open the window to the left or right and the ground is down here and the clouds are up there and then it does this and the ground is down there and the clouds are up there and your liquid in your glass of water, wine, or vodka is completely level. The nice. computer does that. Computers know how to combine that so you don't even know you're turning. And so no longer do you lean into one way or another when the, when the plane is banking. So this adds to the stability yeah. of your entire uh, 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 plane flying experience. That's what I'm saying. This is very cool. Um, what I am uh, gaining from this discussion is a brand new appreciation for computers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Planes computers... aren't really that cool. It's the computers that are cool, <laughs> man. Figuring all this out. To give you the smooth they made, ride. Yeah. The smooth ride, quieter ride, less, you know. So all I'm saying, so the way to do this is try to get the people to your left and to your right to open op when you're nearing the airport, um, because when you're more likely to turn to line up for the runway, have both sides right. lift up their their windows and put a glass of water right in front of you. Okay. If you can still have it at that, if they, unless if they, yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to let you do that. Okay. But yeah. get it so right in front of then you. Then again, wait a minute. I'm, I forgot you fly first class. No, so you still, you still might be able to get a glass of water. Okay. Okay. So I'll just let you know. To... <laughs> and just watch the level around the rim and then look to the left and right. And as the plane turns, nothing happens to that water level, even though the plane is tilting to bank the turn that it needs to come in for a landing. This is a, this is, this is a, and by the way, you do this in a physics class. You can ask, what is the speed? This is how you determine what the bank of a track is. All right. If you're going to bank a track for something, you know, is going 150 miles an hour, then you can know what bank and what radius of curvature and all those numbers come together. So that if you're in the car, you don't feel yourself being pushed to the left or right. So I, nice. this is all in airplanes. I mean, it's I love airplanes. They're they're brilliant and beautiful things. I I, I, I listen. I I I I don't disagree. I just love computers more now. That's all I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you something else. One last thing here before we land this plane. <laughs> see what I did there. So yes. <laughs> uh, there was a day when computers were still new. You know, and yeah. I wanted computers from the beginning. That's how old I am. But when, when they finally reached the public, there was an old saying. They say, to err is human. To really foul things up requires a computer. Well, okay? that makes so sense. So in the day, yeah, you'd make a mistake, but a computer will make the mistake a thousand times before you call right. it, right? In that mindset, they asked people, um, do you want a computer flying your airplane? Suppose something happens to the airplane and something bad happens and and you have to land the airplane who do you want do you, what do you want to land the airplane a computer or a trained navy pilot okay and almost everybody said a trained navy pilot but i was early out of the box and i said the computer i <laughs> said but but back then that might have been a controversial answer today the, the computer is already doing it all right and the yeah, pilot exactly. is there practically for show all right, because you the don't pilot want is there to make you feel good. Yeah, that's but all. I think they want to engage, you know, just because they they're trained, and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to cede everything to a computer. But there was talk, and I was on a 
White House commission that discussed this in the future, this after 9-11, you say, if a plane is hijacked, what do you do? And we we had the ability then, we certainly have it now, to lock out the entire control panel of the cockpit mm -hmm. and land the plane from the ground. That's uh, why don't we have this already? So, uh, there's it's nothing. It's, it's... You there's no button you can push in that cockpit that'll do a damn thing. Correct. It's 2023, an air odyssey. You know, it's just like uh, I'm sorry, I can't do that, Mr. Terrorist. <laughs> it's that simple. Just let the pilots get up. Like, hey, you want this? You got it. It's all yours, bro. Hey, I'm going to bat. You know what I mean? We give up. It's all yours. You know. And then the computer just goes. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, man. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that's great yeah that is so, a, that's brilliant and you know you're living in the future when you you enter this you know 150 ton tube of metal and sit in a comfortable chair be served mm -hmm. drinks by someone whose job in part is to make your trip comfortable have access mm -hmm. to hundreds of feature length movies surf mm. the internet eat mm. a hot meal a pasta marinara with it with a alcoholic drink land safely four mm. hours later <clears throat> greet your loved ones and say uh oh, the marinara was salty <laughs> 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 yeah. if that, if that's your biggest complaint you know you're living in the future yeah that's for sure some airline is going to try to tap you to be a spokesperson, bro. I'm letting you know that right now. No, no. Some United American, somebody's coming after you. <laughs> Jeff Blue. You know, it won't. It won't. It won't be Spirit because you. You know everything you just said. None of that happens <laughs> on, spirit. on Spirit. None of what you just said happens. You know. So all right, that that was our tour of uh, uh, airplane updates, of which I'm I love a fan. it. All right. Uh, Chuck, always good to have you. This is another always explainer, a pleasure. explainer for Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. Keep looking up.